Welcome to the wonderful world of libraries! In your work, you're going to need a good back, quick fingers, and sharp wits. First timers, I'm always emphasizing patience. In the library, you should never lose your nerves. You may even lose your job if you do. But I've worked here for 20 years. <laughs> oh, don't try to me. fool me, little girl. I'll remember a face. Feel free to ask for advice. So yeah, this is a game called The Librarian. It's in Finnish. And, well, hell. I wanted to give it a try, and since it's in Finnish, not a lot of people outside of Finland are going to get much out of it, so I'm hoping that if I talk you through it, you'll get at least something out of it. So, what shall we ask about? How many books does this library have? 235,800... No, crap load. For you, you only have permission to touch 12 books. Adults... Guides, magazines, philosophy, and religion areas. Why? Do not question your God's will. So I can only touch 12 books. Much better. Ah, okay. So it's a huge library and we can touch 12 books. Um, when's the coffee break? Not now. Okay. 10 o'clock? Nope. 12 o'clock? Nope. 14 o'clock? Nope. It's roughly after five customers. What do we have for coffee? Coffee. Nothing else? Not for you. And you wouldn't have time to do anything... to get anything else either. How long is the coffee break? You should ask, how short is it? Well, how short is it? Enough about coffee! Righto! Yeah. Anyway, I know everything. He knows more. You can, I can find him on a coffee break, trying not to destroy the library. That looks like a goth kid. So yeah, basically a guy on the AGS forums, as far as I know, made this game for their mother or something like that. And um... Well, I wanted to try it. Rules of the job. One, the boss is always right. Two, if the boss is wrong, the first rule is immediately enforced. Check. It's the ringy bell, so the customers can call me. I don't like the ringy bell. It reminds me of being busy. Check. Nah. Click. Hormon hormonally disturbed. Teenager. Even I had a zits as a kid. Okay. Good morning, how can I help you? Um, what kind of book are you looking for? That kind. Uh, can you be more specific? Kind of like, about that. You know. right -o. Do you know the name of the book? Um... Some kind of guide. Okay. What's it about? Oh, about that. Uh, where might it be? Young people's section? Gotcha! Wait here, I'll find your book. Yeah. Right, so we need to find this kid a book. Let's see what we can do. It's a place to tell the stories for the kids. Adults books, guide books. Um, well, he said it's in the young, young people's department, so I'll look there first. Actually, I can't go any further that way, so let's go back. Back, 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 back. Those are reserved books. Can't touch those. Love the music in this game, I have to say. Okay. 
section guide. Rare people can only, only rare people can read it. Philosophy and religion. What the hell happened there? A crime scene. What? If we lose a book, the boss studies the matter personally and properly. Check. Magazines. Well, I think we need to go here. From the hints he gave me, I'm thinking it's some kind of guide. So, ooh, I thought this shelf was for guides. Yep, let's look at that. Uh, lace crafts. Do it yourself. Television. Ah. Uh, being a teenager. Sex. I think this is what he's looking for. Let's give it to him, and hopefully there's a snappy remark in it, too. How do I give the book? Uh, status bar, inventory. Have a book, kid! Thank you, this is the book I was looking for. And he waddles away, waddle waddle, till the very next day. Old bald guy. Looks rich. Although I like bald people, I'd like to know them a little bit better before touching them. Check. Let's just talk to him then. What are you looking for? Good day. Don't they teach you any manners in here? It is rude not to greet properly a paying customer. Paying customer. The last time I checked, the library was free. But it works on taxpayers' money. Yes. And I pay taxes. Thus, I pay for the library. Right. Besides, I pay more taxes than you do. We rich people have a large, larger percentage of taxes, you know. More likely, I'm paying more taxes than you get paid. Now, who's being impolite? Keep up that, I'll tell your superior, and he's going to lower your salary. Oh. <laughs> Rub salt in my wounds. Happily! In Finland... What? This is some kind of social commentary about how in Finland rich people get richer and poor people get poorer. Something, something or other. Soon we'll be doing it like the Americans. Low wage people such as you are practically slaves for us rich folk. Is that how they do it in America? I didn't know that. You're paying your wi wait debts happily ever after, working sweat on your brow, day after day, 24 hours a day. That's what we rich bankers would like. <laughs> okay. So, if you're that rich, why why don't you just buy the bloody book and why are you coming here to piss, us, piss people off? Do you think that I... Hold on. I'm translating as I go, so this might take a short while every now and then. That's why I'm showing the status bar, because it stops the text from going away. Do you think I'd be rich if I hadn't used every opportunity to be cheap? So what kind of book are you looking for? Something to get me more money. So why are you in the library looking for something that would help you make more money? Because I saw a product in the store today which interests me. And you decided to come to the library to get it. Of course! Why should I waste my money on something that I can't read, that I will never read more than a part of? Was it a thick book? It was a flat one. What was the name of the book? You saw it in the store already. I can't remember, it was green. I think I can find it for you now. That's the attitude. That's how you serve a customer. I hate that man already. I've never worked as a librarian. I once thought it might be cool. But then again, this is proving me wrong quite rapidly. Ah, I see where this is going. This magazine about gardening tells about the money tree. Well, hell. No questions asked, let's give the man... Wait, is that a cat? 
I love cats. They're fluffy and woofy and soft. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we are about to get rid of the second book. Pretty easy so far. This is the correct book. Goodbye. An old grandma, I think. Old Granny, roughly 75 to 80 years old. Let's touch him. Her. She doesn't look like she needs mo help moving. Well, hello, how can I help you? Oh, what a young and pretty librarian. Thank you. I remember when I was young like that. I might have been prettier than you, though. Nowadays, I'm all wrinkled. I have to use all coins of waxes nowadays to make me look like a human being. Aloe vera is a very good stuff. It smells good, too. Reminds me of the flowers of my childhood. I like flowers, too. There used to be so much more flowers. Now there's only those grey boxes of concrete everywhere. The forests of my childhood. Chopped down. Even the old berry bushes are gone. When I had energy, I used to go all the way every summer picking berries out of bushes. Do you go picking berries? Uh... Don't you care about the beautiful forests of Finland? My husband died during the war, you know. Defending the forests of this country and the country itself. Did my husband die for nothing? I didn't mean that. Explanations! Excuses! I will tell your manager. Manager! You have a r rude librarian. Shh! Shut up! Can't I even eat some pastries in peace in here? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I, I can see where the guy who made this game, Mr. Hamuli, has been going at. <laughs> this is pretty stereotypical way how Finnish people work. We have the rich bastards, we have the grumpy teenagers, and then we have the old-timers always reminiscing about the war, how they, their husbands and them was killing them Ruskies. Um, yeah, I, I'm afraid to talk to her. You must have a lot of wisdom to share. I don't know. I came just here, here to just get a book, not gossip. But did you know? The next county over, there was a nice young man working in a library. You'd fit with him well. You look just like him. Both wearing huge glasses on top of your noses. Is that called fashion? Yes, the latest. And you're wasting your money on the latest fashion? I've got stuff like that in me attic. They don't even know how to value money anymore. During the good old Marx, there was a good time. Before the Euros, I think, that is. They should bring the old currency back. I've got a lot of old Finnish marks in my socks. Why, they're not worth anything anymore. Uh, how do you make lace? Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I can't remember how to translate that bit. Anyway, <laughs> in her crafts shop, they still pay each other in marks. Finnish marks. We don't trust these old newfangled euro thingies. Right. So, what book would you like? I already told you. No, you didn't. You are not here. You are not going to tell me I have poor memory. I demand to see your superior! Um, 
They're telling me I'm demented! I didn't say that. Accept the facts! What? You are demented! <laughs> now let me for God's sake have these chocolate chip cookies in peace! <laughs> so, uh, what book would you like? I already told you! Okay, we're gonna do this all over again. Okay. I have no idea what the hell to get her. Oh, sorry, I'm skipping stuff and I'm not talking, sorry. Basically, she's telling me I'm lazy. All young people are. Just smiling at me, but in fact, you're just hoping that old grandma, like me, would shut her great big trap. But here I am, talking and talking and talking and uh, it was a good day in 1942 and I was a young little girl and uh, nah. Okay. Religions of the world. I'm not interested in religion. I make my own fortunes, though not very well. Plato's estate. Okay. And it's a book for blind people. It's the Bible. She might like the Bible, but I don't think she's blind. Perhaps she wants a magazine? About... Oi! I, I think I know what she wants. Actually. Yay! I think I'm... If I'm right, I feel smart. If I'm not, I feel stupid. Let's see. There was a guidebook for dun, 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 dun. lace. I think she's doing crafts herself. I think she, so. She mentioned. So I think this is the way to go. As a child, I used to often borrow crafts guides. I did skip this one though. Check. Ah, wrong cursor mode. Click, click, schlick. Thank you! Now my pension days will be much nicer. How long can I borrow this again? Four weeks. I'll be back to return this then. Goodbye, I'll be leaving now. Whee! Have a good rest of your life. Wait, what? It's a baby. Some people think they're cute. I think they're a little bit gross. Kick the baby! <laughs> this, we're a cruel librarian. Hi, good day. How are you doing? I'm talking to myself here. Right, no questions asked. I'm the librarian. Hey, but that's me! Good morning. Oh, yeah. Do I have to serve a baby? Go oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't underestimate the customers. <coughs> ah, she's babbling sort of in Finnish. Yes, what you get. I'm going to have a hard time talking like this baby, aren't I? Where are your parents? At home! What kind of book are you looking for? Uh huh. What? What? What kind of book are you looking for again? Something. In ah! I know exactly what the child is looking for because I just looked at the book the last time I visited. Plato's State. I should be a librarian, I'm so good at this. Oh, right, I was supposed to give the book, not talk to. 
For some reason, the mouse is bugging for me right now. Now, here we go. I'm playing the game windowed because I'm a lazy bastard, so it might be missing the mouse a bit. There you go, baby. Thank you! That was a little bit scary, I have to admit. Whoa! A ninja! It's a cold blood. It's either a cold blooded assassin or a pathetic live action role player. I'm not going to start guessing for the threat of my life on it. I won't, I won't touch him with a long stick. Cough, cough. How can I help you? You cannot, sir. You can serve me. I'm looking for a great treasure. Is that a real sword? The sword is more genuine than the smile of the service woman. Or the librarian in this case. Uh, you're not you're not allowed to bring sharp bits inside, like weapons. The enemy can strike at any time. Always need to be prepared. Yes, but the security guard might not agree with you there. Where are they, by the way? They should put their head, should have stopped you outside. The enemy always is present. Did you kill them? He who stands in my way shall be cold, shall receive a cold punishment. No, that's not punishment. The word uh, cold pardon. Right, I won't stand in your way. Whatever the cold pardon is, I don't want it. You have good sense of self-preservation, librarian. So, what is this great treasure? A book! Cough, cough. Mighty guy telling magics. Uh, what kind of magics? I have great problem. Smoky bombs make me cough. Cough, cough. I'd like to know how to breathe better. Okay, I think there was a magazine about something like that. I might be wrong. Let's check. Ah, asthma, diabetes, and allergies. Uh, asthma might do good to find out how to get rid of that, or at least treat it if, she, if the ninja dude doesn't know how. Health magazine number three. This uh, this one is about asthma, diabetes, and allergies. Here you go, ninja. I shall remember your brave deed. The uh, future generations will hear of your power. Thanks for the honor. I wish you'd leave. It is time for lunch right about now. And it's about... Oh, I'm here for a coffee break. Oh yes, you slim workers used to have stuff like that nowadays. Don't spend too long, you have one minute. I'll get started then. I'll also save now. Saved. And I'll take a little break. Be back. Right. We're on a break. It's time to continue with Librarian. We have one minute. This year's budget was mostly spent uh, by the coffee machine. Too bad only the boss can use it. All we have is this, this old one, which some vintage collector might pay a good sum. Make coffee! It's already on. Uh, which one's mine? Not that one. I'm not a mama's girl. This one won't handle coffee. This is not my cup. This'll do. <laughs> it's a big blue cup. It's a dirty cup. Oh, it'll do, as said. It's too dirty. I have to wash it. It has been washed. Now I make coffee. Quickly! I have, I have filled the cup. Have coffee! Ah! We have now enjoyed coffee. Oh dear, that looks like a hobo bum bum. Shit. 
<laughs> looks like hilarious. It's a local, uh, let's say, a park chemist is a good description of that. Good day, how may I help you? No! How can I help such a lovely creature as yourself? A package like that can't be s I can't even see a wonderful package like that every day. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm guessing Je Sir has injured something more than orange juice. Hey, be little. But <coughs> uh, that don't slow me down. I'm in the shape of my life. Well, that's good for you. So, uh, what would you like? You! Me? Well, I, I was having something else in my mind, but I forgot when I stepped through the door. My feet go soft before you. My heart pounds. And, my, and the staff in my pants gets hard. Please spare me the details. I shall press the silent alarm. I think he secretly tried to push the silence alarm. How do you know? Listen, young lady, you're talking to the past. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. I've, I've been a lot of things, maybe even security in the past. Watch closely, beginner. No, I missed what he said. No, that voice. You took everything from me. <laughs> I don't like failures. How terrible. What did you say? I mean, how terrible the weather, the forecast promised for tomorrow. I just remembered. I need to buy shorts. And the bum cries. So apparently the bum remembers our boss too. Might have worked in the library in the past. So what book are you looking for? Oh, it's been such a long time. Keep talking. When I last touched soft sensual please do not continue woman's no what that went too fast I missed it say again what are you looking for soft sensual women's front cover uh, women's magazine I take Yes, this is again something we Finns... Well, we Finns don't have too many ninjas, but bums! Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> I think I'm being evil, but I'll take the schoolgirl magazine for him. <laughs> I have a feeling this might be wrong. Schoolgirl, a very popular magazine for little girls. I'm I'm I th I'm guessing I'm trying to make him a pedophile. I won't need this. Okay, I guess not. Sorry. Uh no, I don't think these work either, so we're going to this shelf. What do we have? Aha, women. Bukowski, women. Never heard of that one before, but hell. I'll take that to him. He'll be pleased. This is really <laughs> a, a little bit hilarious right now. That looks like an noise book. Ah, <laughs> how pleasant it feels in my hands. I, I think I touched you when I picked up the book. The pleasure is all yours. Yeah, bums. Ooh, a blind man. I think he's gonna have the Bible. He, he's got a note on his chest. He's deaf, mute, and blind. Hello. No answer. Yeah, I'm going with the Bible here. Bible for blind people. walks away. No questions asked. 
That looks like some kind of geek. An otaku, perhaps. Judging by the appearance and the smell, he hasn't showered in a while. Hikikomaru. Mm, hey, man. No, he's a stoner. Oh, dear. Nice glasses. Ruffle. Haha. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's... No, he... He's a stoner and potentially a geek. R-O-F-L. Who's Rolf? Well, one noob such as yourself seems to be. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You've never used the interweb? OMG, it's like everyone like talks like this. Don't you have any tech books in this library or anything? He's trying to use lead speak. I'd have shot him already if he walked into a library and talked to me like that. I'm guessing you use uh, barcode reader or digital library. Well, you should have those in the library at least. How poor. Poorness is mental state! Yeah, I'm... Translating his lines is a pain. Uh, what could he want? Magazine, perhaps? I always go to the left first. I should have gone the other way. I don't think any... Actually, he might have wanted the schoolgirl magazine. <laughs> now that I think of it. <laughs> I already have that one. Here you go. No. It would have fit. I, I'm telling you, it would have fit perfectly for the stoner geek to have wanted a book about little schoolgirls, but let's go to the adults' books instead. Uh, no. Do it yourself, television guy. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've no idea what he might want. I should have maybe talked to him more, but I, I didn't want to talk to him! Oops. Uh, I guess I'll have to talk to him. So, can I help you somehow? I'm looking in for about something, yes. The engine... I'm not gonna translate his lines, they're painful. 100 megabyte wireless local area network. You know. Uh, he needs. He needs to upgrade his social skills, get a little experience and bonus po bonus points in speechcraft. You know. You'll know what I'm looking for if your perception score is at least eight. Judging by the glasses, it is. Okay, now I know what he's looking for, at least. I'm pretty sure he wants... The book about... A book of poems for women. Poems, the shortcut to a woman's heart. Here you go. Mm, yes, may the force be with you, you know. I, that's just too painful the way he's talking. <laughs> he's telling me he's going to play lots and lots of Minecraft. Been so long, been AFK in the World of Warcraft for so long that the guild is gonna be angry. So see you. Uh, I hate people like that. What? Troubling. That's a robot. Talks a lot, but is completely harmless. Good evening. Good evening. I demand something to enslave mankind. Please wait a minute. I shall hold. Funny I already have it. Agreed object. 
That was easy. What the hell is that? It's a living dead. <laughs> We're gonna close the library soon, but I'll I'll serve you. Brains. The library is gonna close soon, but I can serve you. Brains. Brains. On oh, no. them. Brains. Correctly. This is not a restaurant. I brains. I'll find you something with brains in it. Brains. Okay. I've no idea what to get him. They want he wants brains. What's got brains in it? None of these magazines, I think. So how about books about philosophy or some such? Could be really. I don't know how religions of the world would fit. Um hmm. Um hmm hmm. Um hmm. The hell. Can I talk to the boss, by the way? Hello! Yes! Oh, I can ask the same things again. I really know everything. But I know more! What has brains in it? I've already ah I've already had all of these given to someone, so I doubt any of those will work. A book of a book of a book of a book. I'm gonna get the religion book to him as well. One of those should work. I'll try that one first. It's a book. Brains. I don't know what to give him. I'm confused. Religions of the world? I've no idea. <laughs> I've just no idea what to give him. Have religions of the world. Rains now. Rains. Rains? Rains. Um, hmm. Boss, would you mind coming over here? Hello? How do I know what books the customers want? You can always knock on the back door. Thank you in advantage. No need to thank me. I'll remove the time needed to instruct you straight from your payment. This question cost you 25 cents. When's the coffee break? Not now. Oh, we're going through this again. Well, I'd like you to help me figure out what the hell this undead wants. Christ. Actually, hey, I thought I could empty my pockets using that. Emptied me pockets. Ha! I found a bug in the game. Ha ha! I can still use a book even though I left it. I don't have it in my inventory anymore. Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh, what the hell do I give him? Brains. I'll pet the cat. <laughs> Let's see if I can. I don't have time to pet cats. Oh, but cats are nice. You should pet cats. It might eat me. Let's not touch it then. Um.
Brains. I've tried the book of a book of a book. I don't know. I really, really don't know what to give him. <laughs> I'd like to ask the boss how what to do. Can't use the. Okay. should probably explain all of these. Then. How many books are, are there in this library? Oh yes, we did this already in the start. How do I navigate the library? You can scroll the actions with the right mouse button and the left mouse button ac activates them. What? Take the mouse to the top of the screen to get the menu. Um, from the menu you can access actions which you can execute on the items you have with you. You cannot use the element menu during dialogue. You can stop the game and dialogue. In addition, you can... Yes, I can load the game. Okay, if I quit the game without saving, I'll die. <laughs> How do I know what the customers want? I don't understand. Have the TV guide or something. Brains. I don't know. I'll bring every book one by one. Schoolgirl book. Health book. Or magazine. Anyway. Rains. Brains! I am confused. Quite confused. This brains, or do would you perhaps like some poems? Brains. Well, bugger. I have a feeling I need to feed my boss to him, but I've no idea how to do that. I don't know what to do. I am confused. I'll, I'll just have to bring him everything. After these, I've brought him all from this side of the library once. I still don't think he really w wants a book. Brains. 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 Last attempt. After this, I've pretty much given him all the books once.
Actually, I'm already running out of books to give him. Do I need to combine books somehow? I'll take the book of a book of a book. Can't. Uh, that would have kind of made sense. Guess. Oh! Oh dear. Accidentally cut the game there for a second. Sorry! He won't need this. Brains! I don't have any brains for you! Give him books. What, what what books to give him? I just don't know. I kind of like the schoolgirl magazine though. Uh, maybe it's just me. Hell. Ring. I want my boss to come out here. Knock on the door. Do something. I don't know. I need to think. Hold on a sec. Ah. This doesn't help. How do I give the zombie some brains? Lovely and soft. Um, hmm. I have no ideas anymore. I am completely out of ideas. I've given him all the books one by one. I'm sure of it. through the boss. How many books are there? Yes, yes, yes. How do I navigate? Ba 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 ba. How do I get the books? Ba 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 ba. He 
tells me that if I want to know what books the customers want, I need to knock on the door. This isn't a restaurant! Brains! Come out of there! It's a living dead. What do I do? I'm confused. I have a bad feeling the game might have bugged out. That's not nice. You know, that would be very not nice. I'm just walking around, I don't know what to do. Um, what am I missing? I have to be missing something. That's not even a real shelf, it's just fake. I have to make sure I've given him every book, one by one. Oh, my pockets are full. There's only 12 books, that's 4 trips, so here we go. One book, two book, three book. One book. books, now for guides books. Mm, and after that we go for magazines. After that we go for philosophy and religious books. And after that we are officially dumbfounded. Rains. 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 chance. Three books left to try. Origins of the World, Plato's, Gov Plato's Estate, and The Blind People's Bible. He's 
hit any of them heavy enough to whack him with it. Brains. 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 Okay, I know now he doesn't want a book. Well, what does he want? He wants brains! I don't know how to give him brains. Ah. Trying to figure this out is painful. I'll touch myself. I don't slap myself. Hello, good day. Talking to yourself. <laughs> I tried to eat the book. No questions asked. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be able to lure my boss out somehow, but I have no idea how. I don't know what to do. I am out of here. I'm just going through all the options for the talking to the boss. I have no idea how to lure him out. Are you sure you want brains? I'm gonna take a break. I don't have any idea what to do. I'm pretty sure this is the last customer of the game, but I can't figure this out for the life of me. It's possible it's a bug in the game. It's a pretty small game anyway, so that's always a possibility. And then it might just be that I'm missing something really, really obvious, which also wouldn't be not anything new. So, with a fluffy cat. I bid you adieu. I'll be back later.
Bye bye. Right, I've been thinking. And yes. You just need to have the cat's head. <coughs> yeah, so it's a cute little cat's head which I had to tear off. And now I can give the cat's head to the zombie. Something for everyone in this library, eh? Meow. Brains! Om nom 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 nom. I hope he's a happy zombie now. Library will now close. Day is done. Well, how was the day? Wonderful! Don't be so overconfident. You'll be making mistakes in the future. Besides, the library didn't make any profit today. So how can I make profit if nobody returns their books late so we can get the late fee? You have to complain that the books are broken. Or don't mark them as returned even if the customer asks. Just tell them that the return machine is now broken. And that, uh, too bad. You'll be fined. But that's cheating! That's why it's your job and not mine. I quit. You can't. Your contract says that you have to let me know about your quitting at least with at least one month warning. Besides, the lunchroom floor is dirty. Some of the chocolate chip cookies crumbled on it. Chop chop! You still have some work time left to clean up the mess. Awesome. Oh, I can't do anything. That's just some crumbs. Okay, so such was Librarian. I was a little dumbfounded by the cat's head puzzle, but that's just me being idiot. All in all, pretty good. It was a fun little game. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm sorry for the a little bit hurried translations and sometimes missing translations because I was lost in thought while reading the text myself. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.